Shalom, Shalom, Israel. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, through His Son Yahweh Shai. Peace, love, and grace to all the elects of the Most High God. The true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, the so called black people that are scattered through the transatlantic slave trade, through the trans Arabic slave trade, also other major slave trades in the history that are all written and documented in the scriptures. You are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. They call you African Americans, they call you African Canadians, they call you Biafras, they call you Africans. These are so called to your name. You are called the so called black person. You are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. My brothers and sisters, welcome once again to Arise, O Israel. On this episode, we are going to shine a light on the hour of temptation. Now, bear in mind that the hour of temptation basically means trial and tribulation is going to befall the world. Trial and tribulation is going to befall the world. That is going to be the hour of temptation. However, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, who are the so-called black people, that are now waking up to their true identity, also are now coming back to the law, statutes and commandments of the Elohim of Israel. You are still going to be going through the hour of temptation. You are going to go through the trial and tribulation with the world. The fake churches or the fake so-called Christian churches has been taught wrong and has been told lies. Their pastors are telling them that they are going to receive a rapture. They are going to be raptured away before the trial and tribulation will be for the earth. As we speak right now, the hour of temptation is here, which brings our topic today. The hour of temptations is already here. Most High is already unleashing plagues to the earth and nobody was raptured. That is to further let you know that these Christians are so-called Christians are fake because they are not true Christians. The true Christians of the Bible are the Israelites, the so-called black people that are keeping the law, statutes and commandments of the Elohim of Israel. The hour of temptation is here. We have fire destroying the entire city of paradise. I believe somewhere in California or in the U.S. Plagues, fire, Destroy somewhere in Brazil, Slovakia, in Australia. Locusts eating up East Africa and heading towards India and China. That is the hour of temptation because Israelites are scattered in all those nations. As I speak to you, our brothers and sisters, according to Bible prophecy, are in every nation and every city on this planet. Our people, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, were sold as slaves in all four corners of the world, especially Judeans from the tribe of Judah. So now, when you go to these fake churches, they will tell you that Mosai is going to rapture them. Actually, they say rapture the church, which are the Christians, or so-called Christians, because they are not the true Christians that they are going to be raptured away and they are not going to feel the temptation. Bible, there's nothing like that in the Bible. Which is why we decided to have this topic today so we can go into the scriptures to further encourage the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible that are keeping the law. Encourage them that the trial and tribulation and the hours of temptation that the Bible talks about, that you are going to be in it and some of us are going to give our life for this work as prophesied in the scriptures. Very soon they are going to be a mandatory. They are going to try to put a chip on everybody. They are going to try to vaccinate everybody. 
The Bible made it clear. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16 to 17, that Esau is going to try, is going to make people to get the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. So these are the period of the tribulation that the whole world will go through. The only difference between the rest of the world and the men of the Lord, the children of the Lord, the women of the Lord, the elect, the one third of Israel, the only thing different is that Most High is going to fight our battle. Most High is going to save us from all of this. But we will be tried. We will be tried. So our topic is that the hour of temptation is here. And the elects will make it. The elects of the Messiah God will make it. The Israelites that are teaching the gospel, that are doing and keeping the work of Messiah God, that are keeping the commandments to the best of their abilities. The one third of Israel will pull it through, will make it through. Destruction is going to come to the world. So when you keep listening to all these fake pastors telling you that you are going to be raptured away from the tribulation, that means when when the uh, hour of temptation is here, you are going to be raptured away. That is the madness that these fake pastors are propagating all over the world, lying to the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, who are the so-called black people. So the reason we are bringing out the truth and we are breaking down the scriptures from the uh, uh, breaking out uh, the, the, the scriptures and bringing out these information is to further encourage the true Hebrew Israelites that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Messiah God to further encourage them to stand strong, to let them know that this. There's going to be trial and tribulation on our ways. We are going to be tried. Like I said, some of us are going to give our lives for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, get your mind ready. You need to watch and pray. You need to pray and fast. You need to stay spiritual. You need to understand that Most High is the architect of everything that is going to happen. Most High controls the left hand. Most High controls the right hand. The Israelites that are awake, that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Elohim of Israel, the spirit of the Messiah God, the Ruach Kedax, will guide us and lead us through. According to the scriptures, we are going to be protected. Messiah is now going to turn his back on us. A promise has already been established on what is going to happen. So when it comes to Revelation 13 to 16, my brothers and sisters, Do not, I repeat, do not take the chip, the RFID chip, no matter the situation, no matter the condition, no matter the circumstances that you find yourself. You rather give your life for the work of the Elohim of Israel and receive the crown of life as was promised. In the book of Revelation. Than to give in. To Esau's wickedness. So first of all. Let's go into. The scriptures right now. Let's go to the book of. Revelation. Chapter 
chapter 13, verse 16 to 17. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, Okay, let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 13, from 16 to 17, and I read, it says, and he causes all both small and great, he causes all, he causes all, both small and great. Who is causing all? Esau. He will cause everybody. So whatever that is going to lead us into the arrow FID chip was Esau that caused it. If it's the coronavirus, that is going to lead into Esau implementing RFID chip. That means Esau is the one that brought in the coronavirus. He says, and he causes all, both small and great. That means he's going to create the things that will lead into implementing or making it, making it to be mandatory. So whatever will, will, will usher in the implementation of the RFID chip, that means Esau is the one that cooked it up. So if the coronavirus is going to lead into introducing a cashless society, that means coronavirus was caused by Esau. And he causes, he causes it all. So the, he caused means the action that led into introducing the RFID chip as a solution or as a better way out. Whatever that ushered in, that led to ushering in of the RFID chip, he says he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, both the ones in the jail and the one that is free, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. This is going to be a, tri a, 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 trial, a tr part of the trial and tribulation. And that no man might buy or sell. So if you don't have the chip, you are not going to be able to buy or sell. That is part of the tribulation. That is the part of the end game. That is the part of the trial that the elects of the Mosai God will go through. The elects of the Mosai God is going to go through this. So what is going to happen to the elects of Mosai God? The elects of Mosai God is not going to take the chip. Who are the elects? The men and women of the Mosai God that are doing the will of the Mosai God right now. We are going to stand, stand strong in the hour of temptation. Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Kedax is going to be with us. The Holy Spirit is going to be with us in the hours of temptation. Now, let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my watch unto the end. He that overcometh. You cannot overcome things if you are not, if you don't go through it. You overcome something that you have to go through. He that overcometh. Revelation 2, 26. Stop listening to all these fake pastors. 
that you are going to be raptured during the time of tribulation. That is a lie. He that overcometh and keepeth my works. What is the works? Keeping the Lord's statutes and commandments and teaching the Bible. Waking up Israel. So there is going to be challenges. He that keepeth my work unto the end. That means you did not sell out. You did not take the chip. Because the Bible in the book of Revelation told us not to take the chip. That if we take the chip, we are going to be destroyed. So you need to keep your faith till the end. You need to keep your, the works to the end. To him will I give power over the nations. So the Israelites are going to rule other nations. Your fake pastors are telling you that the Israelites are going to be spiritual Israelites from all race of the world and all other nations. That is a lie. He says, he that keepeth my works unto the end, I will give power to rule over the nations. That means Israelites are going to rule over other nations, other race of people. They are going to rule over the Edomites, which is the so-called white people. They are going to rule over the Ishmaelites, which is the so-called Arab people. They are going to rule over the Elamites, which is the so-called Iran. They are going to rule over the Hamites, which is the so-called Africans. They are going to rule over the Moabites, which is the so-called Chinese. If we keep the work until the end. So we are the one that are ordained to do the work. The Israelites are the servants of the Messiah God. According to the book of Psalm. And the book of Isaiah. I believe so. We are the servants of the Elohim of Israel. So the hour of temptation. The trial and the tribulation is already here. The whole world is, in, is on a lockdown. People are not going to work. People are struggling right now because they, there is no income coming in. In Europe, there's a lockdown. In Asia, there's a lockdown. Right now in Canada, many things are not effectively operating, functional. So the hour of temptation is here. In the US, the same thing. State of emergency are, are being declared all over the place. This is the end game. The hour of temptation is now here. Let's go to the book of John chapter 16 verse 33. It says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me, ye yeah, might have peace. In me, ye yeah, might have peace. In the world, ye yeah, shall have tribulation. But, be of good cheers. I have overcome the world. What is Yahweh Shai talking about here? What is the understanding behind this statement? What is the understanding behind this statement? Let's go into the scriptures right now. My brothers and sisters, I want you to understand That precept must be upon precept, according to the scriptures. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Let's go to the book of Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 13. Chapter 3, verse 13. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3. Verse 18. And I read. It says. The book of Zephaniah chapter 3. Yeah. Zephaniah chapter 3. Verse 18. Salakia. Like
the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 and I read The thing that had been It is that which shall be And that which is done Is that which shall be done And there is no new thing under the sun So what the men of the Lord The prophets went through in the olden days The same thing is what the men of the Lord Are going to go through on this end time the men of the Lord that are prophesying and sighing and crying teaching the Bible we are going to go through tribulations so when Christ says in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33 he says these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good tears I have overcome the world that means if we are still here, we are going to go through tribulation right here in Esau's kingdom because we are still in the world of Esau. Esau is ruling in this world. Remember Job, Job 9.24, the world has been given into the hands of the wicked. But if we have faith in Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ, we are going to have peace. If we have faith, in Yahweh Shai, we are going to have peace. Because Yahweh Shai have overcome the world. Meaning that Yahweh Shai is coming to give us salvation. Under that salvation is where you will have peace. Not now. You are still going to go through the tribulation that has before the earth. But Yahweh Shai, Mosai God will give us the spirit to endure. Let me prove it to you that we are going to have peace after we have been redeemed from this world. Because Yahweh Shai has overcome the world. Yahweh Shai, Shai is waiting for the appointed time to come over and destroy this world so he can be able to establish the kingdom of heaven here on earth. So the peace he just said on this chapter, on this verse right now, will be given to us. Right now we do not have that peace yet. But the peace will be given to us if we overcome. He that overcometh, I will give power over all na other nations. So you must overcome first before you get that peace. So let's go to the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse, for the, verse 13. You're going to see that peace right now. It says, the remnant of Israel shall, shall not do iniquity. Right now our people are committing a lot of iniquities. So, Mosai God is not talking about now on this particular verse. Nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. These are going to be the Israelites that are coming back to the law right now that are repenting. They stop lying. They start following the commandments. Let's keep moving. For they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. Where are we going to feed and lie down? Esau is still making us afraid. Esau is still torturing and killing our people. Esau is still in power. So where are we going to lie down and nobody will make us afraid? In the next kingdom that Christ is coming to restore. So we can have the peace. He told us right here. These things I have spoken unto you. That in me, ye yeah, will have peace. If we have faith in him. And keep doing his work. We are going to inherit peace. In the world, yes, I have tribulation. We are still in the world. That is why we are going to be part of the tribulation. The tribulation that is going to be for the world, we are going to be found in it. But we will be protected. Because Jacob will be saved out of it. But be of good cheers. I have overcome the world. So have courage. Be of good cheers. It's letting you know, Christ is letting you know, you need to have courage during your tribulation. The peace is coming to you if you overcome. He that overcome it. Revelation 2, 26. So let's finish this one. It says, and, and, and none shall make them afraid. So when you are no longer afraid, means that you are in peace. Zephaniah 3, 13. Then let's go to 14. It says, Sing, O daughter of Zion. 
Shout, O Israel! Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. We should rejoice. So let's go to the book of Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and I read it says And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the who are the called according to his purpose the elects are called according to the purpose of the Elohim of Israel so what Mosai is trying to let you, uh, what this uh, verse right now, or this chapter in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, is telling you that, and we know that all that all things work together for good to them that love God. Remember, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15, says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So when he says, all things work together for good, for them that, uh, to them that love God means to them that keep the command God's commandment. To them who are called according to His purpose, the elect are going to be keeping the commandments. So they are called according to God's purpose. I need you to understand that. All things works together. So both the tribulation, both the trial, both the hours of temptation is going to work to get work together for good. At the end, the elects will receive salvation and they will receive peace in the kingdom. Everything works together for good to them that loves Mosai God. To them that keeps Mosai God's commandments. They are going to be the ones that will make it. Just like the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 12 said it. So let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 30. And I read, it says, When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the later days, this is the last days, even in the later days, when you are in tribulation, even in the later days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shall be obedience unto his voice. How are you going to be obedient to Messiah God? By keeping the commandments. By loving him. If you love me, keep my commandments. By keeping his ordinances. In the later days. So he's going to hear us. He's going to deliver us. We need to have faith in him. We need to keep the commandments. Again, Revelation 14, 12. My brothers and sisters, don't let anybody deceive you that, the, the, uh, that the, some people are going to be raptured during the hour of temptation, during the tribulation. We are already in the tribulation period. Coronavirus is sweeping away people all over the world. Earthquake is sweeping away people. Tornado is sweeping away people. Fire is sweeping away people. And Israelites is all over the world. We are really, right, right now, in the tribulation period. We are in the hour of temptation. We need to look up. If thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shall be obedient unto his voice, he that keepeth my works unto the end, the same shall be saved. Keep the walk unto the end. To him will I give power over all other nations. So you're going to be in it. You're going to go through it. He that overcome it. He that overcome it. You cannot overcome something that you're not in. But Most High God will give us the spirit to endure. He in that endured it unto the end. You're going to have to endure. Trust and believe in Mosai God. Stop listening to all these fake Christian churches. They don't know the Bible. The spirit of the Mosai God is not dwelling in them. Let's go to the book of Matthews. 
Let's break it down a little bit more further. Matthew 24, from 29 to 31. Let's see what's going to happen. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. That means everywhere will be dark. That is a tribulation. That is a suffering period. That is a trial period. You're not going to have electricity. There's not going to be running water. Everything will be destroyed. Immediately after the tribulation, this trial and suffering of those days, which is the last days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the power of the heaven shall be shaken. Why? Because of the ICBM thermonuclear bomb explosion, third world war. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That is when the salvation will show up. Because Christ, Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ, is going to show up in heaven. After those tribulations, after the, the everywhere is already dark. People are killing each other. People are dying. Countries are fighting wars. Nuke explosion, nuclear bomb explosion everywhere. So you are going to be in the tribulation. You are going to be going. But we need to keep our faith and our up, our trust and our hope in Yahweh Shai, in Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That is when Christ will come. After we have been tried, then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Other nations will be mourning, but the elect, the Israelites that are keeping the law, statutes and commandments to the best of their ability, that are doing the work, we are going to be rejoicing. But the other nations will be mourning because they know that this is their doom. And they shall see the sign, this, the, they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels. See that? He shall send his angels. This is when the Israelites, the elects, are going to receive their salvation from the hands of the people that hate them, from the hands of the nations that have been slaving them, that, that, that bought them for slave. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elects from the four wings, from one end of heaven to the other. The so-called black people and your descendants, this is when you will receive your salvation. After the tribulation of those days, immediately after the tribulation, you have been tried and tested. Then Christ will show up. That is how the Bible said it's going to happen. And that is how it's going to happen. Let's give you another precept to further confirm to you that we are not going to be taken away from here until we have been tried and tested to the tribulation, tribulation period. Acts 14.22 Confirming the source of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, we must, we are the elects, the men of the Lord that are doing the work. We must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. So we are not going to make it to the kingdom. We are not even going to make it to the chariot of the, uh, uh, the angels who will come to get, when the angels will come to get the elects. You are not going to make it into the chariot without going to do that tribulation. So we are already into the tribulation as we speak. The tribulation has already started because we are scattered all over the world. And there's a lot of plagues. That is why the book of Revelation 18.4 says, Come out of her, my people. So you will not be a partaker of her plagues. So when you repent and start keeping the law and stop following the ways of other nations, you are going to be protected from these plagues. That is what Revelation 18.4 was telling you. So the book of Acts 14.22 is letting you know that through much tribulation, a lot of trouble, you're going to go through a lot of trouble before you can enter into the kingdom of heaven that is going to be here on earth, which is the kingdom of God. 
Let's back it up more. Let's go to now. Revelation 2.26 And he that overcometh, when you overcome the tribulation, immediately after the tribulation, he that overcometh and kept my works unto the end. The end is when Yahweh Shai will come down. Immediately after the tribulation. Remember I read it. I read it for you. In the book of Matthew. Chapter 24 from 29 to 31. I read it. Immediately after the tribulation. So it says, He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So the end is when Christ shows up. That is the, when our tribulation will stop. He that overcometh and keepeth my work unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. He's going to give you power. If you keep the work, keep doing the work, keep keeping the commandments to the best you can, keep praying and fasting, keep keeping your faith and your hope, regardless of the circumstances, keep trusting in Him. Don't be biased. That is how you're going to make it to the kingdom of heaven. You, by going through the tribulation, because we are going to be tested. That is why it says in the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10, it says, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. You see that? If you are not going through the tribulation, why will you suffer? So Yahweh is letting us know that we shouldn't fear on the things that we are going to suffer because he knows that we are going to suffer just like he did. Remember, we are going to be joined heir with him. And he went through this same tribulation in the hands of the Roman Empire. So we are still going to go through the same tribulation. Obviously not as bad as he is. But we are going to be trial to be joined heirs. You're not going to be joined heirs with Christ when you are selling out to Esau or when you are taking the RFID chip. So you can have an easier life. When you are, do not face your fears, you're not going to be joined as. That was why he's telling us, fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. Tried is the trial and tribulation. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. He said we are going to have to do tribulation 10 days, which might be a sign of completion. It might not just be a regular 10 days, just a sign of completion. Be thou faithful unto death. That means even if it takes your life, do not give up. Keep your faith and your hope in Yahweh Shai. In Yahweh, through, uh, through, through his son, Yahweh Shai. Then what did he say? He said, and I will give thee a crown of life. That crown is going to give you is what you're going to use to rule other nations that he promised you in Revelation 2.26. So if you go to Revelation 3.10.2, what did he say? Revelation 3.10, he says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Why is it going to save you when he returns? Because you have kept the work, the word of his patience. You kept doing the work. You kept keeping the commandments. You trusted in Him. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So during the time you're going through your trial, you will go through it. But He will help you go through it. Which shall come upon all the world. All the world. Temptation will come upon everybody. The coronavirus is upon everybody. But you're not going to get it. He's going to keep you away from coronavirus. The earthquake will come. It's not going to touch your home. To try them that dwell upon the earth. So the world is in trial. The world is in under temptation now. The world is under tribulation. So you need to keep faith. Why people are going to be relying on carnality, on their guns. You are going to look up and rely on Yahweh Shai because your gun cannot save you. The 
the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35. And I read, it says, Who shall separate us from the love of God, from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? What is going to separate you from trusting in Messiah God? Trusting in Yahweh, Shai? Is it tribulation? Is it what you're going to go through? Is it what they're going to do to you? Is it the famine? Is it not having clothes to wear? Is it all the stress that you're going to see? Is it killing God's sword? Nothing will separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai. So we must have faith in Yahweh Shai and not give in and not give in in what we are going to face. Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 12 and I read Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. You need to have hope, rejoice with because we know we are the Israelites, we know we are going to receive salvation. We are have hope. We are. We. We. we, we, we how, how do I put it? We are. We. We depend on the hope that we have, that Yahweh Shai will save us. So during the time of tribulation, we need to be patient. That means we are going to be in the tribulation. We are not going to be raptured out of the tribulation. For you to be joined air, you have to go through tribulation, just like Yahweh Shai did. How are we going to go through it? By constantly continuing, continuing in prayer, praying and fasting. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 13. And I read, it says, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are those, what are these which are arrayed in white robe? Revelation chapter 7 from 13 to 14. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? Who are these people that are wearing white robes? And whence came they? Where are they coming from? So what, what was the answer? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest, and he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation. So when we go through this, God's willing, we are one of the ones the angels will give, will be able, will gather. And the salvation will come true, Yahweh, by his son, Yahweh Shai. When we are taken away, after the tribulation ends, we are taken away. We are going to be put on a white robe. So that is what it's saying to John. This group of people you see here, is showing John the Revelator, what is to come. This group of people you see here, they just came out from the great tribulation. So why is your fake pastors lying to you that you're going to be raptured away? You're not going to go through tribulation. They are lying to you. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamps. How did they make their robes white? Because they were faithful unto the end. He that overcometh and keepeth my walk to the end, to him, Will I give power to rule other nations? My brothers and sisters, share this video. Our responsibility and our mandate is to wake up our people to their true identity and to bring them to the, back to the law, statutes and commandments of the Elohim of Israel. During the hour of temptation, if they persevere and keep and put their trust in Yahweh, 
they will overcome and they will receive salvation. And they are going to be in the kingdom of heaven that is going to be here on earth. Israel, you need to rejoice. The downfall of your enemies is your salvation. All praises to the Messiah Yahweh, to his son Yahweh Shai. Peace, love to all the elects. I will see you all in Zion. Remember, our king is coming. Shalom Israel.